Hey, Bill McRae here. I wanted to share with you kind of an analysis of what's going on uh, in the solo ad business. There's a lot of doomsdayers and blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of ups and downs and it's a lot of misinformation. So I thought I'd clear it up, at least according to what my understanding is. What makes me an expert? I don't know. I've been running a business for 46 years and um, I got to three degrees from the University of Davis uh, in California. One of them is in accounting finance and business administration. So I I'm, understand this stuff and have been dealing with it my entire life, dating back to the late 70s um, through to today. And what we're seeing in the economy right now is very similar to what happened in the 70s. And I will explain. Uh, the typical big business cycle is there's ups and downs like this. And what happened during the COVID situation is the government printed a ton of money uh, to keep the economy going. And a lot of that money got stored up and then spent later. Two different administrations, the Trump administration, now the Biden administration. And they're just trying to make people feel comfortable that we're going to get through this mess. And what always happens when a government inter intervenes into an economy is it disrupts this natural flow of peaks and valleys. And it creates an artificial increase in demand, makes everyone feel good, business is great, which is followed by a huge drop in a recession. It's the... the Government inter interference does this, it raises it way up, then it comes way down, and then it, you know, it goes back to ups and downs. Now, there's a couple of things that need to be understood here. It's while we, our business, our demand for our products is definitely tied to discretionary dollars. In other words, people are going to be careful what they spend with discretionary dollars. They're less likely to try to build a business when you know there's uncertainty. And what causes uncertainty is things like wars and uh, rapid inflation, gas price increases, everything we've been living through throughout 2022. So as a result, demand for our products dropped considerably. Yet at the same time, the cost to service that business went up at 15%. So we have less volume and higher costs. That leads us to a situation called stagflation. Um, the government is doing everything they can to not admit the, the, we're in a recession because they're playing politics with our pocketbooks. But that's what governments do. So they're controlling the media and doing everything they can to make us think that the economy is growing and inflation is not that bad. And um, you know what the government did to, to help lower gas prices? They did the same thing they did up here. They increased the amount of gas from our reserves, which caused prices to come down. But there's no reserves left and the free market will take over and will correct. So we're going to be in for some ups and downs in that area because the government needs to replace those reserves at some point or we're going to get into a position where there's a, a disaster of some sort and we're not going to have fuel to, to kind of heat our homes and to uh, be able to uh, uh, buy gas for our cars and, and stuff like that. So it's going to be a very big change it's going to happen because of the manipulant manipulation of demand so why was it so bad lately well the demand went up because people had all this free cash and you know what when they were locked in their homes during uh covid most of them including myself continued to make money a lot of people in 2020 started trying to make money online Business for our products boomed, boomed, boom. We were constantly having to find bigger servers and spend more money to be able to service your orders. 
Okay. <laughs> then suddenly everyone has to go back to work and there's not all that cash available and demand drops radically. Yet we're stuck with a high fixed overhead because we were, you know, feeling like, hey, this is going to keep going. And it's uh, even uh, Mark Zuckerberg uh, said in a, uh, I think it was an audio that he posted, that he figured that the e-commerce demand would stay elevated after COVID, and he was surprised when that didn't happen. Well, I guarantee you it didn't happen. Things stayed high, um, and here we are in this situation. In 2022, the uh, email marketing business opportunity, you know, let's make money from home niche really suffered for multiple reasons. First of all, it was over hyped up in 2020 because of all this, we're at home, so let's do something. And in 2022, also, people had uncertainty enter their life. Now, what is uncertainty that entered their life? Well, the war in Europe, that's huge. Um, like 50% of our business was uh, from people in Eastern and Western Europe and, and even countries like England, stuff like that. So that war creates fear and people kind of pull in and they, they don't want to take on any risk and they quit buying traffic and they quit even trying to make money online. So that brought business down. In the case of uh, the U.S. economy, and I'm sure worldwide, there was all this demand created by this uh, manipulation of cash in the market. And there was all this supply chain problems because uh, too much of our economy is based on China. And so the, the Chinese weren't able to fulfill our orders. So you have too much cash chasing too few um, resources and skyrocketing inflation. It's worse than the government uh, tells you, a lot worse. I went to the store with my wife the other day and she had to take me home and go shopping by herself because I was like, $4.99 for that? You know, it's just it's just tough. And it's like us selling our traffic. We built the infrastructure for you know 50,000 clicks a day. Suddenly we're doing 10,000. Uh, well, as me, we're still doing business, but the fact is uh, our overhead is based on the infrastructure that we created for the large volume. Now, it's, it's nobody's fault. That's just the way it worked. And everybody was screaming at us to deliver more clicks. Now we're, you know, we're able to offer a price for the next month, uh, three weeks, because we've got more supply than demand. But trust me, we're not making any money. We're just trying to cover our fixed overhead until the demand returns. And it, and it will. It's it, even though the government caused this peak to go way here and then come way down here, it will return to normal flow. It's just a matter of time. And quite frankly, the best thing the government could do is not stimulate anymore. And that's exactly what the Democrats are trying to do in Congress is get that last big spending bill through before it changes over to Republican control. I really hope they don't because a lot of the spending is non-military. So here's what happens. If you invest in the military equipment, you get a dollar of gross development, gross uh, product, a GDP, for a dollar spent on military equipment. But when you spend it on social programs, you get probably negative GDP effect. And so you put a dollar into that and you get negative return. That's causing the inflation. That is just horrible. Now, we need social programs, so therefore we need to do what we're doing, but they need to manage that inflation down around 2%. That will allow them to be able to fund reasonable social programs uh, without you know, doing a bunch of crazy stuff. We don't want them spending money. Inflation comes from only one thing, government spending. And then when you add to that the uh, pressure on the, the uh, uh, supply chain, you got you got a disaster waiting to happen and it's not over yet but it will it will come back to this cycle again now one thing i want to point out if you're in business now um the thing to do is not give up 
is to cut back, do what you got to do, and push through this low. Instead of the low being here, it's going to be right down here. Because what this recession does is it kills off the weaker competitors. So right now is when you need to be promoting and being obvious. If you need sales today, then you're in trouble. You don't. You, you, the thing is, is with the traffic business, you can just keep pushing it through Facebook and other sources, even if you're not making a lot of money, because when things come back up, and they will, you'll be one of the survivors, and most of the market's going to fall away. Most competitors are going to give up. I mean, I've been talking to my competitors. They're tough as nails. They're good guys. We're all friends, to be honest with you, even though we're competitors. We buy from each other. We help each other out when we need to. And we're all in the same boat. Nobody's any different. So the, the, the advice I have for you is to push through. Don't worry about stagflation. We're going to have that. No growth. It's going to happen. High inflation. Poor activity. And we're going to see our unemployment rates skyrocket. It has to. We'll eventually get to this level. Now, let's talk about selling solo ads. Promote heavily through the next month even though you're not going to get a ton of business when the business pulls around your name your brand your logo will be in everyone's mind because you're pushing anyway and this is why i really recommend people have like a, a, a instead of going build solo ads it's e-business traffic or some of my other businesses mccalla affiliate traffic center these things are positioned so the logo and the name is what's important, not my name. For a couple of reasons. First of all, I can sell them off. Second of all, when people get back into doing business, they're not going to remember Bill McCray. They're going to remember, hey, the affiliate traffic center, or you know, they're going to remember those things, the trademarks that they've seen logos for. You know, my little race car eBiz logo. Um, that's what people are going to remember. They're going to go, yeah, who's that guy? Because we're going to continue to promote it. Through email, through Facebook ads, uh, I'm not doing pay-per-click. And uh, what's funny is some of my competitors were doing a lot of pay-per-click, and they quit. And I asked them why, and they're like, well, we're just not getting any new business. And it's not paying for itself. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, actually, this would be the best time to do it. But they're looking for immediate re a return on investment, and it's not there right now. It's long-term return on investment that you need to consider. And this is a side business for most people. There's not a lot of overhead in promoting it. Uh, and, you know, we've given you a price break through the first week of January. So good luck and, you know, push this stuff because it really pays. In the long run, it's really going to pay.